Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the Army Recruitment Training website, howtobecome.com, and in this training tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to prepare for and pass a parachute regiment interview. Now, as you know, in order to join the parachute regiment, you are going to have to go through a tough selection process, and part of that process involves an interview. So during this presentation, I will teach you how to pass successfully. And in order to achieve that, this is what I'm going to cover. I'm going to give you a list of parachute regiment interview questions that I recommend you prepare for. I'm also going to give you suggested answers to those paras interview questions. I will tell you the qualities that you have to demonstrate during your parachute regiment interview in order to succeed. And I will also tell you about further useful resources that will help you to join the parachute regiment. So there's four really good reasons why you should stay tuned and watch this tutorial from beginning to end. Now before I get into the parachute regiment interview questions and suggest suggested answers, a very warm welcome to this training tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon, that's me there in the centre of the screen. I am a former member of the armed forces myself and I was also a firefighter for 17 years and since then I've been helping people to prepare for their interviews and I always do that by giving you unique top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below the video and then you won't miss out on any of the training videos that I'm uploading and I would also very much appreciate your support if you gave the video a like because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will create more for you. Thank you very much. Okay let's get into those parachute regiment interview questions and answers. And the first question I want you to prepare for is, why do you want to join the parachute regiment? So my tip for answering this correctly is, this paras interview question is tougher than it sounds. Remember, you are applying to join a formidable unit of the British Army, and therefore your reasons for wanting to join must be honest, genuine, and also demonstrative of the level of commitment you are prepared to put into this. So here is my suggested answer. I want to join the parachute regiment because it is, in my opinion, the best unit across all of the UK forces. I want to be a part of something special where everyone is working together to achieve a common objective and also where it's important you carry out your duties with confidence, resilience and to very high standards. I want to be the best I possibly can be and I genuinely want to push myself and work alongside a group of similar minded men. The Parachute Regiment has a formidable reputation for professionalism, versatility, courage and self-resilience and I believe I have the determination, the levels of fitness, the maturity and also the team working capabilities to become a competent soldier with the Paras. I understand the training is going to be extremely difficult to get through but I feel confident the level of fitness work and general preparation I've been putting into my goal will give me a good grounding to succeed. So I believe that's a really strong answer. It's positive in nature. You are talking about some of the skills and qualities needed to get into the parachute regiment and you are giving a number of reasons why you want to join this awesome fighting unit of the British Army. So my next suggested interview question that you need to prepare for is, tell me what you know about the Parachute Regiment. Now obviously, the more research you carry out, the more you will be able to prove to the Paras recruiting staff that you're serious about joining them. Make sure you immerse yourself in the Paras history, their role within the British Army, and also their current operations to show you are taking this seriously and that it is your decision to join and nobody else's. Here is my suggested answer. The Parachute Regiment were formed in World War II, 1st of August 1942, at a time of total war, and they have been in action ever since. The Paras are predominantly an airborne infantry regiment of the British Army who also specialise in air assault. They are made up of a number of different battalions. The 1st Battalion falls under the command of the DSG, the Director of Special Forces, which is in the Special Forces Support Group. The remaining para battalions are known as the Parachute Infantry Element of the Army's Rapid Response Formation, the 16 Air Assault Brigade. 
The 4th Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, are based at Thornbury Barracks in Leeds, and the 3rd Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, are based at Merville Barracks in Colchester. Now, as a paratrooper, I would be trained in a variety of different skills, including being able to conduct different military missions and operations, carry out high-level intensity warfighting, and also preemption tasks. So that's a good answer. It shows that you know a bit about the Parachute Regiment, their history, where they're based, and what they do, the different tasks that they are responsible for. The next Parachute Regiment interview question I recommend you prepare for is, describe the training you will undergo when you join the Parachute Regiment, and which parts you will find the toughest. So if you don't know the training you will undergo when you join the Paras, how do you know you can pass? So make sure you learn the different stages of para training and be honest in your assessment of which aspects you are going to find the most challenging. Here is my suggested answer. Parachute training consists of two different steps. Step one takes place at Catterick and is 30 weeks training in total. Now this is called the Para Combat Infantry course and it includes basic army training and also infantry training. I will also be required to undergo P company training and various tests and assessments. Now during the training course, I will learn all about survival techniques, how to fire weapons competently, and also map reading and navigation skills. <clears throat> I will also get either my category B car or category C HGV driving license. And once I have completed step one, I will move on to step two, which consists of a three week jumps course, after which I will join my, my regiment as a fully trained soldier and paratrooper. Now, in terms of the aspects I will find the most challenging, I believe this would be the map reading skills course, as I have done very little in this area to date. However, to help me prepare for this challenge, I've been undertaking a land navigation course on the website udemy.com to give me an understanding of map reading and basic navigation skills. Now, if you are interested in that land navigation training course that I've just spoken about, I have put a link to Udemy in the description below the video. Now, I am not for one minute suggesting that the level of training you're going to get on Udemy is anything like you will get in the Army, and in particular the Parachute Regiment. But the reason why I have put that in there is because within that answer, I'm saying that's the part that I would find the most challenging, but I'm actually doing something about it before I join to try and improve. So if you're interested in that course, it gives you a very basic understanding of land navigation, then do check it out. The link is in the description below the video for you. So the next parachute regiment interview question I recommend you prepare for is, what are the core skills of a paratrooper? Now my advice is to learn the core skills of a paratrooper, as this then shows you've carried out some research and you are also aware of what is needed to succeed from a mindset, fitness and capability perspective. Here is my suggested answer. There are many skills needed to be a competent paratrooper, including professionalism, resilience, being brave and courageous, and also being totally self-reliant. Paras are also agile and lightly equipped. They have exceptional levels of physical fitness and strength, they are physically robust and also versatile in army operations and their training. Other skills needed include being outstanding navigators and self-reliant when in the field, able to solve difficult problems by using innovative thinking, mental toughness and resilience, and finally being loyal and committed to their friends. So that shows that you've looked into the skills that are needed to be a paratrooper, so you are aware of what's required when you join. The next Parachute Regiment interview question I recommend you prepare for is, what are the values of the British Army? Now, although you are applying to join the Parachute Regiment, it's vital you understand the values of the Army, and in particular, what each of them mean. So we're going to tell them the values in our answer, but then we are going to explain what each of them means. Here we go. The British Army values include selfless commitment, courage, discipline, integrity, loyalty, and respect for others. Selfless commitment is about making sure you put the needs of the team above your own needs. As a paratrooper, I will have to work with others closely as part of a team and always remember to focus on my task as well as the wider team objectives. Courage is about doing what's right and also having the courage to take the necessary action when needed. 
Everyone in the army has to work to the same high standards, and this involves discipline in everything you do, from looking after your kit, how you perform on military operations and training, and also how you act both on and off duty. Integrity is about being honest, trustworthy, reliable, and respectful. Loyalty means looking after your workmates and supporting them when things get really tough. You have to step up and remember you are all working as one to achieve the objectives of the army. Finally, respect for others is about treating people the right way, regardless of their situation, their background or their circumstances. So what I like about that answer is you are not just telling the interviewer what the values are of the British Army, but you are also adding some additional information and explain, explaining what it means to you when you join the Parachute Regiment and how you are going to implement each of those values in your daily work. So the next thing you can do is if you want to download my guide to joining the Parachute Regiment is to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. It takes you through to my website howtobecome.com. At least go through to it, check it out and then like I say you can download a copy of my guide which has all of the answers I've just gone through and additional ones to your Army Parachute Regiment interview. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Also, tell me whereabouts you are along your journey to applying um, to the Parachute Regiment in the comments section below. I'd be interested to see how you're getting on. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I will answer them for you. Have a brilliant day and I wish you all the best in your pursuit to joining the Parachute Regiment. Thank you very much.